Today we are going to practice writing linear equations in slope-intercept form from two points. For today's problems, we will know the y-intercept. So let's get started. To write an equation in slope-intercept form, we need to know the slope, m, and the y-intercept of the line. In the previous lesson, we were given the value of the slope directly. We were told what m was, and then we were given the y-intercept in various ways. From this information, we were able to write linear equations in slope-intercept form. In today's lesson, we'll be given two points in some form, and this will include the y-intercept. From this information, we will have to find the slope and then write the equation. In the next lesson, we will practice writing linear equations from any two points that are on the line. But back to today. Here we have the points 0, negative 2 and 2, 5. Notice one of the points has an x coordinate of 0. That means it is on the y-axis, so this is our y-intercept. So b is equal to negative 2. But how about the slope m? Now, we don't have that information yet, but we have all we need to find it. So slope is the rise over the run. So from the graph, we can count the rise. We'll start at this leftmost point. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we rose 7 from one point to the next point. And then from here, we'll count that run. So 1, 2. We have a run of 2. This gives us a slope equal to 7 halves. But we needed a graph to do this. How do we find the slope without a graph? Well, the slope is also the rate of change of the line. So the change in the y values, which is what we calculated when we found the rise, over the change in x values, which is the run. Now it doesn't matter which is point 1 and which is point 2. I'll make the leftmost point point 1. So the second point is point 2. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1. That's going to be 5 minus a negative 2 all over 2 minus 0. This is 5 plus 2, all over 2, and again, we get a slope of 7 halves. So we now know both the slope m and y-intercept b, so we can write the equation of the line that passes through the points 0, negative 2, and 2, 5. If you need a review of finding the slope of a line from two points, I put a link in the description. In the examples we will work with today, you'll be given one point that is on the line along with the y-intercept in some form. For these first two examples, the y-intercept is given as an ordered pair. We know this is the y-intercept because it has an x-coordinate value of 0. So it's on the y-axis. So with slope-intercept form, this is y equal to mx plus b. And we know that b is equal to negative 7. Now we need to find the slope. So to find the slope, we find the difference in the y values, so that's y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and that is our rise, 
and that's all over the run. So x of 2 minus x of 1. So we'll let this first point be x of 1, y sub 1. And the second point will be x of 2, y sub 2. This will give us negative 7 minus 1 all over 0 minus 2. We now have negative 8 all over negative 2, and this is 4. So the slope is equal to 4. We know the slope of the line, and we know the y-intercept, so we can write the equation in slope-intercept form. So we have y equal to 4x plus a negative 7. And we can rewrite this as y equal to 4x minus 7. For this second problem, one of the points does have an x-coordinate value of 0. So this is our y-intercept. So b, the y-intercept, is equal to 5. We're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So y equal to mx plus b. We know b. Now we need to find our slope. Slope is the change in y. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over the change in x. x of 2 minus x of 1. The difference in the y values all over the difference in the x values. So this first point will be point 1. So x of 1 comma y sub 1. And the second point will be x of 2, y sub 2. This will give us 5 minus 13 all over 0 minus a negative 4. 5 minus 13, we have negative 8 all over positive 4. We have a slope of negative 2. So writing the equation, we have y equal to negative 2x plus 5. Let's try a few more examples. So we have a line goes to the point negative 8, 4, and has a y-intercept of negative 2. What is the equation of this line in slope-intercept form? So it's slope-intercept form, we have y equal to mx plus b. B is our y-intercept, and we're told that it's negative 2. Now we need to find the slope. Now we're given one point, but to find the slope, we need two points. It's y sub 2 minus y sub 1, all over x of 2 minus x of 1. Now we do have one point. We have the ordered pair negative 8, 4, but we need another ordered pair. And we can create that with the y-intercept of negative 2. So the ordered pair for this y-intercept, again, the x-coordinate will be 0. And then the y-coordinate will be the intercept, so negative 2. So now we have the two points. We have 0, negative 2, and negative 8, 4. So this will be x of 1, y sub 1. And then we have x of 2, y sub 2. And so finding this slope, we get 4 minus a negative 2 all over negative 8 minus 0. So this is 4 plus 2 all over negative 8. This is 6 over negative 8. And then we can simplify this to negative 3 fourths. So slope is equal to negative 3 fourths. And then writing our line, we have y equal to negative 3 fourths x plus a negative 2. And then we can rewrite this as negative 3 fourths x minus 2. And then with this fourth problem, again, we're given one ordered pair. 
and the y-intercept. And we're asked to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So in slope-intercept form, we have y equal to mx plus b. b is that y-intercept, and we're told it has a value of 9. So now we need to find the slope. Slope is the difference in y values over the difference in x values. So we need two ordered pairs. And we have one ordered pair. We have 514. We can get that second ordered pair from the y-intercept. So we have an x-coordinate value of 0, y value of 9. So this will be our first point. And our second point. giving us 9 minus 14 all over 0 minus 5. We now have negative 5 over negative 5, which simplifies down to 1. So our slope is equal to 1. And the equation is y equal to 1x plus 9. We don't need to show that coefficient of 1. So we can write this as y equal to x plus 9. A great way to learn is to practice on your own. We will discuss in a bit, but go ahead and pause your screen and do these two problems. So for the first example, we are given two ordered pairs. One is the y-intercept. So we have the ordered pair 0, 6. So our y-intercept, our b value is 6. And then from these two points, we can find the slope. We end up with a slope of 1 third, giving us the equation y equal to 1 third x plus 6. For the second problem, we're given one ordered pair and the y-intercept. This y-intercept we can convert into an ordered pair. We now have a y-intercept of negative 7 a slope of negative 12, and the equation is y equal to negative 12x minus 7. Continue practicing writing the slope-intercept form of an equation, and I'll see you in the next video.